What's up guys, it's Manifest hanging out here under the red cabanas, just chilling out. I wanted to tell you a story before I got signed with um, Tooth & Nail Records a long time ago. And for those of you who don't know the story, um, I talk about it in the fighter book. And basically one day, you know, um, after I had met Trevor um, at their CD release party when we opened up for them, he gave me a call one day at work and, you know, talked about making music and ended up setting up a showcase for me and Hawk Nelson to perform for the president of Tooth & Nail Records. And I got super stoked and I'll never forget that day because a lot of cool things happened but also a lot of weird crazy things happened. And uh, basically um, the show went awesome. I remember before I was walking around and I met the president, um, Brandon, and we just hit it off. And it was like really cool. And I was like, oh man, this dude just like loves music, is really passionate. And I remember I had my laptop out there playing one of our music videos for Session. And he's just like, oh, that's really dope, man. He got the skateboarding and the music together and stuff. And he thought that was really cool. And I was super young and I was just like, yo, I just want to sign a deal and all this stuff and, and really excited. And uh, after the um, show, um, one of my producer friends who I had worked with at the time was like really urging me to have like a meeting right there, like on the spot, like with the label and stuff. And I did something that I recommend no artist ever do again, and that is to bring your hip hop crew into a business meeting, you know? Um, I brought like four extra dudes into a meeting that um, had nothing to do with anybody else. Um, it should have just been me, Trev, and uh, the record label, but I ended up bringing like everyone in there, and one of my friends ended up shooting his mouth off and asking questions and getting all like rude and like, not necessarily rude, but just like wrong vibes, and ended up ticking off the president and you know, we left that meeting basically with a sour taste. Like, I went to that meeting thinking, like, you know, this is it. I'm going to get signed. It's all awesome. And it turns out I really ticked him off. I ticked Trevor off. And it was just really embarrassing for them. And I didn't even realize what had happened until weeks later when Trev gave me the call. And he was just like, dude, like, you know, you kind of, you know, um, felt like you kind of went behind my back a little bit and kind of like embarrassed me and just like dude I, I can't work with you anymore and I can't help you out and I remember I was broken hearted I cried my eyes out and Trevor was like sorry dude I just I, can't, I gotta follow my heart and I just feel like you know if you got those dudes involved I can't help you you know and I remember driving home that day and just crying and crying and crying and punching my steering wheel and just wanting to quit and say, forget it, I'm not even gonna finish this record. And at the time I was working on the record, my own thing. And I was just like, this is this is not working, God, fine. I won't do it, I'm won't. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this anymore. That's it, Like I'll, I'll just do IT. Cause I was thinking to myself, I'm making money. I'm really successful in, in computers. Why do I need music then? I'm not, I'm not gonna do it then, just, just forget this. I was just so angry. I was like, I don't need it, I don't want this. And I remember I had parked around the corner from my girlfriend's house and just in tears and just like, God, what am I supposed to do? You know, what am I supposed to do now? And I felt like God saying, Chris, you know, I've called you to do this. And I remember him saying very clearly, like, if you don't do this, then who else will? And I felt like it was like God had me on assignment to do this. And you know what? Relationships were restored, obviously, because, you know, me and Trevor were making music and everything, and it all ended up really working out. And we were never in on rough grounds or anything like that, but it's uh, really important to always have trust and um, to never break that, especially when someone's, like, doing you a favor and you just, you know, want to have the respect vibes. And I just think God is just so faithful in how he restores things. And maybe you're in a situation where you're like, things are just not working out and it's just like sucks and you're just like, forget it, man. That's it. I'm quitting. I've had enough of this. I can't take this anymore. Push through it. Push through it. Just push a little harder and don't quit. You know, if God has called you to do something, you know, he's on your side and if he's for you, who could be against you? And I'm just so thankful for the people that God has put you know, in my life to help me along this journey and I couldn't do it alone. And uh, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of why I called the book Fighter because sometimes I just felt like I was fighting because it was just so hard. I was fighting with my, my, my own issues and you know, it's funny, since that original showcase, I don't think I ended up signing a contract until years later. Like nothing happens overnight. And uh, sometimes you just gotta persevere. That's why in the fighter book, I really talked about perseverance and not quitting because you know we want things to happen right away. 
And you know, and sometimes they can, but sometimes your integrity, your character needs to be built up. And that was me, this guy right here looking in the mirror, like this guy's character was not ready. You know, I didn't have, you know, maybe I had integrity and I had certain other things, but I wasn't ready to handle what I'm handling now and the pressure and I would have fallen. So sometimes, you know, God, like God says, he won't give you more than you can handle. And so maybe there's just, maybe you just got some more growing to do. Maybe you just got some more growing and some more development to do so that you can handle. So the success does not destroy you because that's what you don't want. And I've seen so many other people um, have that happen to them. And that's why, you know, success can be dangerous. It can be people's downfall. So anyways, I hope that inspires you. Um, definitely check out the fighter book. And again, you can listen to that thing for free on Spotify or YouTube. But if you want the physical, definitely just because uh, it's got all the cool pictures and stuff, just go to manifest.net or I'm a fighter.net and you can get the, uh, the links for that. Or it's on iTunes if you just want to buy the audio book for, um, for your iPod. But anyways, I love you guys. I believe in you. Keep fighting. And remember, a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So don't quit.